Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, Painting Dan here, and today we're going to be looking at a hall class. Um, this, like I said, I bought at Alexandra Palace. If you watch my Ginty Suburban set, I said I bought that set and a locomotive and this is the locomotive I've bought and um, well I like hall classes um, they like uh, the Great Western Grand or something like that what Hornby make and I might get it I might get one of uh, the Grands but I really don't know and this one is uh, a modified hall 6990 with a slack or something like that, hall BR, black, um, BR lines black early emblem. Um, I like BR black. Uh, I thought uh, this will be a BR green, but no, it was a BR black. Um, it did cost me £52, not £54. I knocked it down, but uh, after him, fifty pounds, and he said that's going. Um, I'm going to lose a bit of money, so for fifty-two pounds, I might go for it. I had two choices actually. I had this to choose from, or an either. Uh, the either I was about to buy uh, was a either tank engine, not a tender one. It was either tank engine in BR black early emblem. Uh, it was £44, I was actually about offering £40, um, 40 but when uh, I got back to the stall, uh, someone bought it, and I was uh, I was really disappointed. Then I looked through all the things, and I can't believe I missed this, I missed this. I was actually about to buy another eye that I tend to uh, like um, either, and when I saw this I thought, Ben, the either. Uh, so yeah, let's open it and see what she's like. Uh, I open it this side because I find it easier for me. Um, God, this is quite tight actually. Uh, this is an old packaging, so you get the usual box with the post iron in it. Um, there's the locomotive itself, and this is what you get inside. I think everyone's got a Batman locomotive these days, so they will know what. Is like uh, this is what I call a postcard. On this side, you, you got modified hall class four six zero, four wheels in front, six wheels in the middle, zero wheels at the back, and on the back you got brief history. Uh, I'm not going to go through it uh, because well, I was about to upload another video uh, of this locomotive, and YouTube didn't accept it because it was too um too long so I had to make another one so I'm not going to go through the history but what you get inside is the collector's club and the spare sheet and you got all and you got different types of body bodies here so yeah and um, we get in the box is a detail pack this is actually well, the person who I bought it from said it was brand new. He, no, the previous owner never used it, and basically that's why the details are still in the pack, uh, package. It's amazing, really. So what you do get in the package is brake rods for the locomotive and tender, vacuum pipes, and a fireman and a driveman and that's what you don't get in these locomotives these days. these days you get some well just brake rods and vacuum pipes and that's all you might get some lamps with some locomotives but uh, some mostly you don't um, so yeah now let's open it up um, what you get in this box is you get two holes in the back two finger holes and what you do is put your finger behind those holes and just lift the locomotive out like that and same for the tinder like that put the box to one side and you've got this lovely tissue not really it's not lovely it's rubbish <laughs> it's like tissue paper and you get these with 
everything. Uh, I'm going to stop this part of the video and we're going to have an overview of it. Alright guys, we're going to do the overview of the whole class and I'm going to show you all the details of it and I'll give you my final score at the end of the video. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go from the front to, um, to the back of the tender. So if we just look at the front, you might think that this might have sprung buffers, but if I just zoom in for you, no, this is this locomotive has stiff buffers. It doesn't. Uh, is it? Has, it's not sprung. I don't know why. I don't know if this is a real old model or it's like a early version. Then when like later on in that uh, months they changed it into sprung buffers. But if anyone can comment below, what year was this locomotive made? If they've got one or they know about uh, Batman, what year was this locomotive made? Because I'd like to know. Uh, this has a medium sized coupling, not a NEM coupling. Uh, you might know NEM couplings are very slimline couplings. Uh, you mostly get them in modern locomotives. And you've got another type of coupling, which is the large coupling, which you get for from old models or anything like that. Mostly railroad, but sometimes railroad models do not have those large couplings. They also have NEM couplings, because they change it over the years. Uh, you have on the front NAM hooks. You've got for in total you've got one little one up here which is quite nice so you can put a lamp here uh, you've got number on the front 6990 and there's a little symbol there I don't know what it is if anyone can comment below what that is uh, please do so yeah the smoke box door doesn't open but in some of the models uh, you do I know you can you, the G2A class, which is a four wheel locomotive, does have that open smoke box door. That's, all, that's the only locomotive I know, ex except for the 3MT. I think that actually has a open smoke box door. you got a big, well, well, not big, a long handrail going along the boiler all around it. You've got the name there with a nice arc. The funnel, well, the top is supposed to be brass, not black, so this point's better, Batman, this point is. But you do get brass dome, and you've got two whistles, no safety valve, so, but I don't know, originally, uh, this locomotive didn't have safety valves, I don't think. Um, you have at the cab, no detail in cab, but you do have a nice number there, right there. Uh, you do get some piping, but not not all of it is painted. Well, none of it is painted. You got nice rivets along the cab. I don't think you have it on the boiler, but I don't think the original one has. I think this is where basically the fireman well this is where the fire is I think unless it's like a big well I can't really explain it I don't, I don't think I've ever seen that on the locomotives before uh, so comment below what this big massive square thing is because I'm not very keen on these well I've never seen a hall class before because I'm basically down south I'm in Essex and if anyone has ever been to Essex is not a lot of preserved railways you you've got Bluebell Railway which is near me and basically that's it Bluebell Railway which is quite near me that's the main one I go to but the rest uh, Sweden Railway or National Railway Museum I've, ne I've never been to uh, those preserved railways but I like to the tender is quite nice actually you have fake coal here, you've got brake rods 
or brake levers here and here. Uh, you've got a spare water department. Got a nice early emblem there, crisply done. And what the box means by the lines is that round the boiler and the tender, it's got red lining around it. And you might think, well, that doesn't, that doesn't really look any different to the plain black one. So why is that quite good? It's, it's actually really good. I don't know if anyone else has a lined, well, BR lined locomotive, but if you look at plain and you look at the lined locomotives, that just looks so much neater. Uh, on the back of the tender, you have same again as front, no NM coupling or no sprung buffers, shame though. You've got one lamp hook here, and you've got a few, I think these are steps or s some more lamp hooks, I really don't know. Oh yeah, you've got some more down here as well. Um, on the other side of the locomotive, it's not pretty much the same. It well, you have a not well moulded pipework down there, and some pipeworks down here which should be called brass, but obviously this is an old model. You don't really get that. Uh, if you're wondering, like on the box it says four six zero. What that means is four wheels at the front, six main driving wheels, and zero pony wheels. And that's a little bit of a fact for all you guys out there. Um, well, I think I'll probably give the locomotive a, pretty much a fair score. What I'd give this locomotive, um, well, what I would do is I'd give weight, I haven't explained the weight, it's quite heavy for not a, well it's not a small locomotive but look at the boiler and this part it's not that big so I'll probably give it a 8 out of 10, it's not terribly heavy but heavy to pull a few coaches detail about an 8 as well but running, running wise it's like a mouse. It is soundless. You cannot barely hear the motor running. I had trouble thinking, is it running? Because I cannot hear, like when I'm out of the room, I can't hear nothing. And I'm thinking, is it running? And it is running, but it's so quiet. So I give it 10 out of 10 for running. Um, so I'm coming up to my video. Hopefully this will be uploaded. If it's not, I'm going to be peed off. Uh, but hopefully it will do. Well, I'll give this locomotive is 10 out of 10 all round. So I'm going to stop this part of the video. If you like this video, please subscribe and I'll see you later on. Bye.